I mean, the core business that we run is very competitive and very this and that, but this is something you get to create. And anytime you get to put a creative stamp on it, there's value in that. And plus the people that you deal with, they want it done. My name is Justin Drew. I'm a sales rep at Cameron Advertising here in Toronto. And uh, we've been kicking it for 60 plus years. See, the industry was very, very primitive when I first started uh, uh, 60, 65 years ago, uh, where everything was basically uh, hand printed. You know, now there's, it's, it's changed so much that it's hard to compare the one with, with the other. I, I believe in, in the workplace today, if, if, if you're not happy as a family, uh, then it's, it's not gonna work for you. you know? So I, I, that belief was always with me. Uh, make it more like a, a family type uh, business. You know? That was always my belief. I would agree 100%. Uh, it shows really well when clients come as well. They see everyone smiling, it's a team effort. But yes, absolutely, my own brother works here uh, as well. As there's a lot of family members and that family culture brings the pride and commitment and the long-term satisfaction to exceed our clients' expectations. I think it's important to know the people and what they do outside of life. I mean, work is work. Family and, and your outside life, that's why you work for your existence and hopefully to get through and enjoy the retirement years. I wouldn't want to be in a business where I didn't know a guy that I walked past and understand what his interests were, who his favorite soccer team is, or what he does on the weekends, or what are his hobbies. Like, it's just, it makes the day go by better, to be honest. When the printing industry started to change, we were always a screen printer got into digital, as, as you well aware, we kept, we kept up with, with the industry by looking into the new development, new technology, and all that. And, and if, I, I believe that's what's made our, our company successful. If you don't keep up with the new technology, you, you're not gonna succeed with anything you're, you're doing, so. Um, the little knowledge that I have now, I've had, I've had to, to really uh, work hard at it to be able to, to survive, you know, uh, more or less. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it's, it's been, it's, been diff it's, it's had its challenges, I'll tell you that. Yes, My sir. son has been, has been with me, I believe, uh, 35 years maybe now and uh, you know it's, it's been very very easy of course I was at the edge that I wanted him to take over so it was very easy transaction to, for him to to take over and I have not interfered it's, it's a great feeling to see that he's thinking ahead and I, I have no problems with the way he's going to end up uh, it's, it's, it's been a very successful uh, up to now, and I'm sure the future, to me, looks very bright. After I graduated grade eight, which is before high school, uh, my father told me, you're coming to work because you're not gonna sit at home, and I never got out. So my dreams of becoming an astronaut, <laughs> a psychiatrist, whatever, they were kind of quashed real early. But then as I grew and learned all the facets of the business, and moved into sales in my uh, very early 20s, uh, started to really understand the minutia of what it takes to run a business. And then that became an exciting time because the new technology came in, which made my life as a salesperson a lot easier. When I was first starting here, we were significant 80, 90% screen printing and maybe 10% we had just picked up actually the Empress, and uh, now it's transformed into smaller runs, better quality, 
more variables involved and more jobs. So, and digital, 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 very little screen now, less than 20% for sure. It's flipping. Yeah. And again, we had four color, five color, a couple one colors, an 18 foot banner press, two Sakurai's, and we were all day, every day screen. Um, that has slowly dwindled down. We have now one four color press left. And we love our four color press. I mean, it runs every day, all day. And it's for larger runs. We do still do a lot of one color corrugated, which resonates back to my dad back in the 60s on the hand based stuff. And we'll never forget that. But now I think where it's going and, and the opportunities it affords us, I think the M press set the standard, which everybody chased. You know, some projects require uh, me to decide which way we go with it or give the informed decision. Sometimes they'll pay more for a better quality product. And sometimes it just makes sense to run it digital, right? So. Competition in Toronto is probably ranking in the top three to five in North America. And that's only because of all the hardware and technology that's come about in this particular industry, because it is the print world for Canada. We also foray into the States, as do a lot of my competitors. So you've really got to be on top of your game in order to play in this world. And I think we've done a really good job from 60 years ago. It is much tougher. You know, the, the industry is caught up with the flatbed digital roll fed hybrid machinery. Um, but fortunate for us, we have a couple of great AGFA machines as well as some others. And uh, some of the other competitors maybe are too big for their britches and the clients are just the number. And here we're very intimate with all our projects, all our people, and uh, we know what it takes to continue a relationship long term. There's still a juggle. There's always that juggle, right? Yeah. You always leave an extra day in there somewhere. Uh, but that's why I like to try our best to under promise, over deliver, and the whole team's on board to get things done when we need to. And you know, we run two shifts a day, and people are okay to come in on a weekend if they need to or work some overtime to make sure that the client not only gets this project perfect and on time, but to have them feel good about sending us the next project. Back in, in 2008, 2009, when, when a lot of manufacturers got into the large format printing, there was so many directions you could go in. There was automation, there was robotics, how fast, how much was the ink consumption. Again, what we tried to resonate towards was what closely represented a screen print press. And that happened to be the M press back in 2008. We were one of the first in North America to purchase it. And that kind of put us in a mindset that AGFA had produced the M press. What do the other manufacturers have? And by having those manufacturers come in and see what our business was, and it's a multiple of things. We don't just deal in styrenes or corrugated. It's every type of material. So what we base our technology on is what can best suit all of those needs in general terms and be a multifaceted printer for us. We found diversification allowed us to be diverse. I know that's a pretty simplistic statement, but it does. And then what that also fueled amongst the manufacturers was competition. They knew in order to get a sale into Cameron, you'd better be on your best efforts and your best pricing and you better perform. And I think it drove the manufacturers internal competition amongst themselves to want to be in Cameron shop. And I deal with good people. I'm not going to deal with people that are shady or fly by night. I want to deal with the established companies, the HPs, the EFIs, the Durst, and of course the AGFAs. Those are the ones that really resonate with me. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, every press is similar, but they all have their strengths and weaknesses. So for us to be able to run any substrate and know that it's going to come out really nice, whether it's this press or that press, you know, one Toro or another, it's, uh, it, it helps a lot. Yeah. From my perspective, I start from the quote to making sure all the materials are there and everything once it's prepared to choosing the press and the way it flows through the shop. And then as a team, we execute that, that process. So yes, there are definitely times when if I'm using the Toro, I'll use it, especially when I'm looking for fine, finer type and 
sharper quality, then that's, that's the press I'm gonna lean on the most. I'm a thinker and the mass of it was literally a good friend of mine that used to be at HP, became the president of mass of it, came in and showed me what I thought was really cool. I didn't understand it, but I thought it was cool. Uh, we had some money. I thought, look at the doors this is gonna open to us. It's gonna open decor, it's gonna open architectural, it's gonna open some really cool museum pieces, artists. I, I just didn't see the end of where this could take us. And those meetings all occurred. So then when you start to get into that, and then with some of our core business also being in, quote unquote, the event business, and it just seemed a natural progression to us to foray into events, corporate events, weddings, bar mitzvahs, like all the, and Toronto being such an, uh, a diverse international city, there's all these different cultures that celebrate weddings and different events obviously differently and there's money in it so it was uh we had talked and felt bad about it agfa had not fully developed the impress and as a matter of fact we were in new orleans and we were talking with hp and we were talking with onset and we brought a bunch of people down because again we'd started a business in 2002 or 2003 that when we decided to jump into the digital world and ended up, we just didn't know what we were doing. Again, I focus back to the not being too smart. So our next venture to buy a flatbed press really took probably the most forethought that we've ever invested in buying a press. And when we got back from New Orleans, a good friend of mine who was at AGFA uh, called me and said, I know you guys are sniffing around at a couple different things. I'd really like to show you the M-Press. And they had been into our shop probably nine months previous and they weren't ready and the prints were awful. But their R&D team had finally got it up to speed. It wasn't ready to show at the show, but it prompted my father to get on a plane and go and see this thing. And lo and behold, that was our decision. And at that time, we were doing a lot of food service business and it was perfect timing for us because what it did was basically saved my business. They wanted to move to more high quality production. They were willing to spend the money. They were thinking going litho and all the kinds of different processes they had there, but because their numbers were so large, screen worked, and we were also able to do a lot of backlit stuff. A lot of their, um, all of their drive-through materials were all done on the Empress. And it came to a point where money wasn't the object but then the other companies that we were dealing with saw the quality that was coming out and then the digital world exploded. It basically became an arms race after that. We like robust printers and um, the HP was the first really robust printer that came out and it still runs in my shop every day, all day. The advent of uh, the the Toro presses, the hybrids that they came out with, really hum. I'm concerned about the speed, I'm concerned about the price, and I'm more concerned about what the consumable is. Then the next factor is, can it feed sheets through the press? And we get sheets through the press. You saw it, no automation. I refuse automation. I want two people on my press at all times to look at the sheets. Quality is our number one seller. So you're nothing if the sheet going out the door looks like crap and your client's not happy. I don't care how many printers you have. You need to dedicate yourself to what's going out the door is good. Ag for good people, they're Canadian based, which helps us because we're a Canadian company. I won't apologize for that. They are good people who service their product well. It is what it's built. When we talked about it over the phone and when I bought this press, I hadn't seen it. It came, I liked it. I bought another one. They are coming out with a new one. I don't even know because they can't speak about it, but I've signed up for it and I guarantee you it'll be the first one in North America.